Hi, my name is uh, Tal Emil, and I coordinate the UNESCO Chair in Open Education at Unicampi, which is a university in Brazil. Uh, I began my involvement with open education, I think around 2005, 2006, when we began a research project investigating some of the challenges in making educational content travel from one country to another. Uh, in more educational terms, what we found is that the idea of localizing content or localization usually meant that translation and subtitling were done which could address some of the problems uh, of access. But a lot of issues remain in terms of context and the appropriateness of these uh, resources to different tasks. So from a wider perspective, we went back to seeing some of the challenges we, we saw uh, over time in terms of technology integration in general. And these were concerns in how practitioners could access these resources, the skills and the conditions they had to make good use of them. And that's how we came to the idea of open resources around the time that OER was kind of picking up. Uh, these resources uh, we saw could just reduce some of those barriers. Uh, we were particularly interested in how uh, open formats, collaborative practices, and, and open spaces could help practitioners see themselves more as producers uh, with an equal footing in sharing their knowledge. And, and these were big challenges. But a great example of this uh, is a project that happened in Brazil uh, a while back in the state of Paraná in the south. And there the state uh, decided to help teachers at the K-12 through level uh, to give, give them time to produce uh, educational textbooks uh, for all subjects around the high school level. Uh, these uh, textbooks were produced with open content and then were made available with an open license for all to use. And they were remixed in different places around the country. I think this is a good example of how local content can be developed locally uh, to address local concerns uh, by practitioners uh, producing really great content that can be shared worldwide. Uh, I follow a lot of the work done on uh, OER policy building and, and infrastructure, but more closely in Brazil and Latin America, but still I think there are some things that we've learned that could be useful to you. Uh, some of the things that help me rethink about how we uh, approach uh, scaling in OER. And the first thing is that licenses are incredibly important, and they become very easy to use and to uh, implement. Uh, but they're only a small step, and sometimes they might not even be the best first step to aim at. So uh, teaching practitioners uh, about licenses or getting repositories and sites to adopt these open licenses or trying to build policy about around open licenses might have an impact, and sometimes it has very strong impact. Uh, but uh, it might be very limited impact if other actions are not taken in tandem. So as an example here in Brazil, through the work of a group that's known as OER Brazil, uh, in one of our biggest cities in the state of Sao Paulo, the capital, Sao Paulo itself, uh, the education secretariat adopted an open license uh, for its educational content. But very little has happened beyond this, and that's been a frustrating experience for us. In light of this, uh, for the chair, our efforts have been uh, mostly focused towards working with governmental agencies and other groups to help build open educational practices that identify local challenges and trying to cater training to these contexts. So we're trying to build smaller scale policies uh, and that take these challenges into consideration and trying to promote some ambassadors around OER in different parts of the countries and in different agencies. So less than uh, a wide and wide-ranging and large state or government or municipal framework for, for OER, what we're trying to do is to look at smaller agencies and help them change multiple aspects of their practice so that we don't have the large challenges of, of implementing a really great educational policy that looks really good on text but won't have the subsidies or the energy or the time or the people to actually get implemented in a large scale. So my time is up and uh, I'd just like to wish you uh, great success with your initiatives in open education.